do we see the current state the bookshelf looks fine that is the current state of my bookshelves so we are going to clean this up and i thought why not just go ahead and do a bookshelf video what better excuse than to get a video out for you guys so hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is tatum i look disgustingly like almost over tan i'm gonna sit you down right here and we're gonna talk i used to tan last night for the first time in forever and it actually worked i don't know why i expected it not to but yeah i have so many books i hate the way my bookshelves are because they're like not together and i hate that so i'm gonna try to fix that in this video as well and it might be just like a little clean with me because my room is also disgusting so let's let's commence this why don't we go ahead and do this i also just went to barnes and noble and bought books so why don't i go ahead and just give a little haul of what i bought first i bought this shatter me novella the Shatter Me novellas because I have seen a bunch of people talking about these and reading these. As you guys know, I read the first three. I liked the first three, but I wasn't like too intrigued. I only read Destroy Me out of the novellas. So this way I get all of the info. So I have these. And then the other thing I bought, I bought basically two series. I bought the Truly Devious series. So this came with the first three, Truly Devious, The Vanishing Stair, Hand on the Wall, and The Box in the Woods. If you follow my Goodreads, you would have seen that I have Box in the Woods on my Want to Read, and I literally just read the back. I was like, oh, that's really interesting. I really like that, not realizing it was the fourth in the series. Here is my mini book haul. This is like the most books I bought at once in a while. So here's my mini book haul, and I need to somehow incorporate that into my bookshelves. I have zero space in my bookshelves. I'm gonna be completely honest, like every single one of my books has a certain spot. Now I just bought seven more books. So this will be interesting for sure, but I kind of need to clean around my bookshelf to start with. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, my books are everywhere, I'm not even kidding. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with in this corner. I don't know if I should put the other bookshelf right here and then put my mirror right there. Let's see if I can make that work. But that means, taking every book out of the shelf. So this is gonna be loads of fun. Guys, I might have a problem. Some of those aren't mine, I will admit, but most of, all of these are. So sorry for this terrible angle. This is the only way you can see it from over there. There is so much candle wax on here. I should probably take some of these books out. Okay, I know all that stuff's on the ground, but I like that. I think I might separate them just a little bit more, like move that all the way to the hinge. Move this one a little bit more in front of the window so Penelope can breathe, but it's a good starting point. Okay, so first I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of these books off so that then I can organize them better. And I will go through every book I've accumulated. I'm just gonna organize my books into the respective categories. Guys, this is borderline not the rightest. I think we're gonna go with the Addicted series still going on top because they're my favorite books of all time. I, in my old apartment, I had them on. Wait, that might be actually a better idea. We're gonna do these last because I need room and if I put those on top of my bookshelves like as decoration. So I guess we're gonna first, I'm just gonna start with the off-campus series and the Briar You. And then, then I have the Boys series by Michaela Smeltzer. Maybe Kingsmakers. Air, the Rebel, the Bully, the Spy, the Savage. I have like the tiniest bit of room, but there's another one in the Boys series that I haven't gotten yet. So we've got the first shelf done. Then I guess we'll go P. Douglas. So Devil's Night series. And then I'll do Bully and Rival. Magnolia Parks, Dreamland Billionaires. Next Magnolia Parks. And then Summer I Turned Pretty, maybe? Let's see if Truly Devious will fit the side back. If the mine has series will fit. Yep, it does. Perfect. Perfect. There we have that row. 
then I think I'm gonna do Shatter Me on the bottom. That's where it was last time. I'll do an overview of this shelf. Okay, so this is kind of my series shelf. So we've got the Off Campus, the Deal, this Mistake, the Score, the Goal, the Legacy, which I got in the terrible pocket edition. And now she doesn't do the big ones, so it wouldn't match if I bought it again. So anyways, and then I have the Briar U, the Chase, the Wrist, the Play of the Dare, and then I have the Boy series by Michaela Smelter, which I feel is very underrated. So bad boys break hearts, nice guys don't win, real players never lose, good guys don't lie. Then I have the Kingsmaker series that I just finished up, the Air, the Rebel, the Bully, the Spy, the Savage, and the Ravenhood trilogy, which I have not talked about at all on this channel, but Flock, Exus, and the Finish Line. Then you come down here to this shelf, I have the entire Devil's Night series, so Corrupt, Hideaway, Kill Switch, Nightfall, the first two in the Fallaway series, so Bully and Rival, Magnolia Park series, Magnolia Parks, Daisy Hates, and Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home. First two in the Dreamland Billionaire series. The fine print, Terms and Conditions, Summer I Turn Pretty, The Summer I Turn Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, We'll Always Have Summer. Truly Devious, which I already talked about, and then the Mind F series. And then on here, I did the Shatter Me series, which Shatter Me, Untie Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Find Me, Defy Me, Imagine Me, Believe Me. And then I have the St. Michael's Duet, which is Interference and Stealing Home. I have the first two books in the Stealing Back the Ripper series, Neon Gods and Electric Idol. I think I spilled coffee on them. Yeah, I'm not happy about that either. And then I have Fifty Shades of Grey, that series, and the Crossfire series. I have not touched these since I bought them, but I have them. Okay, so now I have this bookshelf and this book cart left too, and I still have a lot of books if you can't tell. Okay, let's start on here. I'm gonna start on the bottom shelf and do all my Book of the Month books, except for the Love Hypothesis, so. And I want just my hardcover that I don't want in a special place. Funny story behind this one. Um, I built one of these bookshelves with this and I used it as a hammer. So it is literally, if I took off, it's just like, look at how bad. I mean, you can't really tell, but like, I kind of ruined this book, I'm not gonna lie. But I still am excited to read it. I don't wanna do One of Us is Lying and One of Us is Next right there. I'm gonna put the rest of my hardcover here. And then I think we're gonna do TBR. On my first shelf, I'm just gonna keep my Colleen Hoover together. But I kind of like the idea of not doing any like side by side, like how I had it forged. So I'm just gonna stack all of these. I have nine Colleen Hoover books, I think. Okay, so I'm Colleen Hoover there. Then I think I wanna do like my favorite standalones. I'm gonna do Emily Henry right here. I have to put this right here. I'm gonna put one of us flying and one of us next over there on that side so I can fit as many as possible. I don't think my hard coat. Oh, wait, yeah, it will. So actually, we're gonna do this. And marriage for one, hardest fall, dear Ava, a letter to whiskey, our choose voice. Oh, I have room for one more. Oh, never mind. Now exactly what book is going there. So then this shelf, we're gonna start with standalones that I have read. And there's no method to this madness. I'm literally grabbing the books that I have read and just putting them. Guys, I think every book is gonna have its place. Guys, this is so satisfying. Wait, oh my gosh. Just taking out the Addicted series does amazing things. Okay, let's go through the book, this bookshelf. Okay, so I have all of my Colleen Hoover books, which is Confess, Heartbones, It Ends With Us, Layla, November 9, Regarding You, Reminders of Him, Ugly Love, Verity, and then I have my two Emily Henry books, the best ones in my opinion, Beach Read, Book Lovers, Write Me Off, and I have Marriage for One, The Hardest Fall. I really like Ella Mays' writing, but I don't think I would like the Love Jason Thorne and To Hate Autumn Connor, so I haven't bought those yet. Dear Ava, one of the most underrated books on earth, Love Letter to Whiskey, Archer's Voice, Song of Achilles, One of Us Slang, One of Us is Next. I want to do a reread of this, and I might vlog it. Um, It's a maybe, but I am rereading these soon. <laughs> then The Love Hypothesis, and come down here. Things We Never Got Over, Bright Side, Still Beating, 19 Minutes. This book is so good. I read it in high school and then I reread it when I got back into reading. So good. Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Second First Impressions, Every Summer After, They Both Die at the End, Beneath the Stars, it's The Simple Wild, Sweet Temptation, The Way I Used to Be, If He Had Been With Me, Silent Patient, Maybe in Another Life, Wallow and Peg and Me, Under Lock, Before We Were Strangers, Little Women, and To All the Boys I Loved Before, and P.S. I Still Love You. And then we come down here and this is my TBR slash book of the month book so i have my dog vanessa this was on a whim and i don't think i'll ever read it if we're gonna be honest the invisible life of adam guru i got like 150 pages in could not keep going 56 days 
I remember the plot twist being amazing, but I don't really remember anything about that book. Everything We Didn't Say, A Flicker in the Dark, Not a Happy Family, We Were Liars, Five Feet Apart, The Perks of Being a Wildflower, and then this starts my TBR. So The Cousins by Karen McManus, Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen McManus, Before I Let Go, this is the author of, this is where it ends, I think, No Escape. It's basically like a about an escape room. I don't know, it seemed interesting. Falling, which I need to read. The Naturals, which is the start of a series. Paper Princess, which is another start of a series. Long Shot, another start of a series. Dear Love, I Hate You, another start of a series. Alex Approximately, I Need You to Hate Me, Wild Card I Bought on a Limb. Notorious. Notorious is actually a Harry Styles fanfic that got published and I love the fanfic and so I had to, I had to purchase it. I'm gonna keep this here so that then I can like put new books on there since there's literally barely any space left. So yeah. So this is my setup. I'm so happy. So on top, I just have a candle and then this little thing to motivate me to get my Aggie ring. And then I just have like all of my like, I buy my two Bibles, a devotional, my Bible journal, and this book I think has to do with God. I don't really know. It just matched this. Then over here, I have like a mini bottle of champagne thing that's acting as a bookend, the Addicted series, another candle, and then my books. I'm thoroughly pleased with myself. I think this looks so good. I, like I'm about to take a picture and maybe maybe you'll see it on my Instagram if you like follow my Instagram. That concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really happy with this now. I have that extra space and my books are all together and then I'm walking far away and it's falling. But I'm so happy um, with how this turned out. I, ah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And all my other social medias are linked down below as always. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.